Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today is a haul video. I haven't done a haul video for a while, so I thought, let's do this. I went to Sephora the other day and then picked up a few products, including hair products, um, skincare, uh, of course makeup and so it's kind of like overall stuff not that many so this won't be a very very long video but it's still quite expensive so overall I spent $319 because the skincare has cost a little bit more than the rest of the stuff so without further ado they give me a quite big bag but it's not that many products in here so i'm just going to go through this with you guys and share what i bought so that can give you some ideas if you want to make a purchase or if you want to try something so this can give you some ideas hopefully let's start the most expensive thing which is this skincare um this is good jeans from Sandy Riley. This is all-in-one lactic acid treatment. So it's kind of you use this in the step as a serum. So you use your toner and then you use serum and then you use moisturizer. Deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. Visibly brighten the appearance of age spots and discolorations. Instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. It sounds too good to be true because I want to treat all these sunspots on my face so hopefully this will make it work also who wants fine lines right and who wants wrinkles so this is all in one um, hopefully this is the most expensive one this is $158 Whew. this is same price as the rest of the product so here is what's inside um, yeah, so they just have a pump. They don't have a cover, uh, but the pump is kind of locked. So you twist to open and then to turn off. So this is the whole product. Has 50 mils, 1.7 fluid ounces. So I, I want to use this at night um, because during the day, I have a daytime serum usually. And this one, I feel it would be better since it's brightening. I think it would be better if, I use it at night so I will let you know how well this works or you can just leave me um, comments down below and I will reply to you I have used this once already uh, two nights ago and in the morning I can really kind of see my skin got plumped I don't know if that's all in my head or it's really but it looks good it looks good in the morning so I want to keep using this and then see if I can really see a difference after I've finished this bottle. So far, so good. Okay, the next thing I got is from Drunk Elephant. Is their Firm Brightening Ice Cream. Eye serum. I thought it's eye serum. No, it's eye cream. I've tried their gel, hydrating gel, which is kind of a daytime or nighttime moisturizer. And I never tried their eye cream, so thought I would give it a go since you know drunk elephant they don't have a lot of like chemical stuff so this is what's inside it has 0.5 fluid ounces I love their packaging like you twist up and then you pump which is so so convenient I feel like all skincare company they should use these ideas like twist up and you don't need a cap you don't have to lose the cap and it's just so convenient and locks and turn it locks turn it so easy how much is this one let's see it's 64 dollars Woo! quite expensive for drunk elephant i know drunk elephant is not a cheap brand but um i remember their big bottle of the uh, hydrating gel is 80 70 something or 80 dollars but this smaller one is already 64 so this is quite expensive but normally eye cream is more expensive than um daytime moisturizer i've tried it two nights already also um really love it it's, it's not heavy it's kind of smooth and light feeling which i i love i normally use this during the daytime uh nighttime i have a different one which is richer in some way so this is my daytime eye cream okay let's go to the next thing 
I think that's all the skincare I have. Oh, my birthday is coming up, so this is kind of a gift set. Okay, next one is from NARS, their eyeshadow. This is Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like this is my kind of palette. All the shades, I can use all of them. And I swatched it, it's super creamy, super smooth. It's like NARS eyeshadow, it's always good, right? So, and their packaging is so nice. See, all the shades are kind of my kind of shade. I can use all of them. Like, they have a... They have these matte shades, which you can use as a transition, and then the shimmery gold kind of highlighting shimmery, and then you have this burgundy. Like, you can use all of these. And I swatched it in the store. Super, super nice. I'm planning to do a first impression kind of a eye look with this. Just go along with it, try to use all the colors, like what I did in my last few videos. Whenever I, I try eyeshadows, I always want to try every single color on my eyes, both of my eyes, so you can see all the shades. Um, so yeah, I'm planning to do one of those after um, this haul. So if you want to see some first impressions, some test out the products, just make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. So yeah, this is their eyeshadow. Uh, how much is this? So this is $59. $59. Also very expensive. Oof. Now I read out the price. It's kind of hurting. Okay, next thing is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. It's a blurring skin tint with sunscreen. This is with SPF of 25. During the summertime, sometimes you don't want the full coverage, very heavy foundation. Uh, so I think this is kind of new, but not super, super new. It has some coverage, but it's like light, only with the skin tint. And plus it has SPF, so it's like all in one. I want to do a first impression with this too. Usually I would do a wear test first impression so also make sure to stay tuned uh, for this um, they have a whole set of this so this is the skin tent also I got the same ultra HD concealer so I want to use this concealer combined with the skin tent so that's that can be like a full test so make sure to stay tuned for this so the skin tent is $36 has 1.01 fluid ounces so it's like normal foundation uh, 36 and this concealer $28 which has 0.23 fluid ounces so this is in the color Y23 so it's kind of yellow undertone 23 so this is my color I kind of tested it in the store so I I have some ideas. This this is the right color for me. Okay, and another one from NARS is their bronzer. I think they changed the packaging, which this packaging is so just... I don't know why bronzer just gets me every time. Every time I see a bronzer with a new packaging or stuff like that, I was like, oh, I need to buy that. It looks so pretty. Yeah, so they have changed it to this kind of packaging. And we open this up. So this is the bronzer. I swatched it, they have few shades, and this one seems right for me. This is a seaside. Seaside. This bronzer is $40. Let's swatch it a little so you can see. It's not very heavy because like, as you can see, this is like a perfect, perfect shade in the summer, right? It's, it's a tan color. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It just, see, it's perfect. I think I'm going to love this a lot. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to try this maybe with the um, skin tint, everything like that. We have one more um, skincare. No, this is the foundation. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is the Sandy Riley, the influencer 
clean long wearing foundation i don't think they ever came up with a foundation before so this is very very new from what i know maybe they have but i never seen it most of the popular shades are already gone in sephora so people are dying to try this too so this is natural looking long wear lightweight feel satin matte finish medium to full coverage and this is long wearing so i'm definitely going to do a first impression plus wear test for this foundation since it's long wear we're going to test out at least eight hours right so just stay tuned so my shade is 140 light with neutral undertones they have light with yellow undertone they have light with uh, pink undertone okay so that's all for the skincare and makeup i picked up two hair product um they're both from this brand igk i've used this really like this um so i picked up the multitasking dry shampoo it's so funny their dry shampoo they have three levels they have deep cleanse and they have medium cleanse and then they have light cleanse so i choose the medium all their scent smells really clean and really uh good in the summer maybe they they meant for the summer um but it smells really good like make your hair smells good so i've tried this sh shampoo already and it's really like voluminous and give you that lift and smells good so i haven't tried any new dry shampoo i only use the batiste uh, that one for a while so i was thinking i want to try a different one different scent to see how that goes and this one is like clear it doesn't have the white powdery uh, feeling i can show you so normally if you spray on your hand you will see the white thing right but just like nothing it's very clear i have like a darker but not very dark hair so why spray like you see there's no white powdery look at all so i'm just spray it on the roots um on the days that you don't wash your hair like i wash my hair once every two to three days i don't wash it every single day so in the middle i will use these and it smells so good and also i picked up another volumizing texture spray um, i like to use this um, the day i wash my hair which after i blow dry it it's kind of too smooth and too um so i want that kind of a lift or after i blow dry it will be more voluminous but it will go down in an hour or so so this will help it to kind of stay in put just stay that voluminous feeling so this is a texture spray i've tried this too this is a very coconut smell if you're like coconut smell in your hair oh my god you're gonna love this so much i can smell the coconut uh scent all day like after i use this i can smell it all day it's it's very not too powery some coconut scent they have too strong of a sweetness in there so it's not that fresh but this is coconut without too sugary it has a it has a tent of sugary which is the perfect amount try this seriously if you like coconut scent try this you won't regret like i think everybody needs a texture spray which doesn't make your hair like crunchy doesn't make it you can still run your finger through it which i like to do it all the time so that's why i'm very picky about different kind of texture spray so yeah this is really really good oh i forgot to mention the dry shampoo is called direct flight um so this is 27 dollars the dry shampoo and then this texture spray which is called beach club this is a little bit more expensive this is 29 dollars this one as you can see it's um the dry shampoo is larger so this has 6.3 fluid ounces and this has five fluid ounces both are really good if you're in sephora i suggest you to test out their hair products it's really good and there are different level of dry shampoo have all different scent and every scent 
I just love it. It smells really good. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I showed you everything. Like I mentioned early, so if you want to see some tests out, first impression, just make sure to subscribe so you know when I post one of these videos. Yeah, so that's all for today's video. Hopefully give you some suggestions, some ideas, so you can try it out. I highly recommend you try this out in the store. You'll love it. All right, that's all for today's video. Hope you like it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.